Hello and welcome you guys in this lecture we are going to discuss about how to draw the interaction curves for columns in shear wall. The data will be taken from a tab software for a building which we already designed. In a tab software in the interaction curves will be uh, drawn an Excel sheet. So we are just opening a tab software. So this is a G plus 29 story high rise buildings which we already drawn in the tabs are fierce. We are just going now to define section and section properties and click on fill section. These are the three types of columns which we are already assigned for these buildings and this is uh, the beam sections which are which we are chosen for these buildings. Now we are just click on column these column sections and modify show properties now section designer and going to interaction surface and click on in, uh, exclude uh, five value now we just select this data and right click copy curve uh, copy current curve and we paste this data in the excel sheet here so we just make some arrangements and this is the axial uh, force for these columns and this is moment 2 and moment 3. We select this data and control X, cut this one and click here. And 3 is opposite up into directions. So this is moment 3 that's why we, have, we are going to multiply this data uh, by minus 1 equal sign minus one multiply by this value enter and drag this drag this one to be applied for whole column okay now we just click here and going to insert uh, click on this scatter right click select data add and remain the series name as it is and click on X values click here and drag for M2 which is in X directions again click on series Y values Click for axial force. OK. Again, add and remain the series name as it is. Click on series X values. Select for M3. Click here. Delete this one and drag again axial force and click OK and OK. Now change chart type, click on this one, okay. So keep a chart element on horizontal and vertical direction. Vertical directions and give name here as P axial force kilonewton and horizontal direction as well. Moment kilo newton iter and give a chart title as axial force versus moment. Okay, this is the interaction curve for column section. Give a name here interaction curve for column okay now we need this one interaction curve for column and here draw also the interaction curve interaction curve for shear wall section Enter. 
Now again we are going to interrupt the sapphire and cancel this one. Now select this shear wall design sections and click on define general pier section. This, uh, these are the different uh, pier sections which we are uh, assigned for these buildings. For example, we just select on P3, pier section 3 and click on modify show pier section pier section so this is the pier which we are already given uh, it is assigning for this buildings click on interaction surface excluding uh, phi which is uh, this value is according to the american uh, concrete institute or american code select this whole data and click on copy curve and paste here in excel sheet make some arrangement we cut this one for m2 and multiply this one by minus one which is in other opposite direction of m2 so sign minus one multiply by this value enter if we drag this one to be applied for whole column again we draw the same traction curve which we are already drawn in columns now we are going to insert and insert scatter bubble click here insert data Select data, click on add, remain the series name as it is, click on X values and select moment M2 which is in X directions. Again, delete this one and select data for X direction. Oh no, sorry. This is axial force here. One graph has been drawn in uh, right side. Again, add to be drawn for other side as well. Select data for x direction, which is the moment. Delete this one and select data for axial force in y direction and OK. Again, OK. So we just change the chart type, select this bubble line, okay. So and give the add chart element for horizontal and, and vertical uh, axis name. So give a vertical axis name, which is axial force P kilonewton and horizontal axis name which is moment kilonewton meter so in give a chart title chart title name is axial force versus moment okay now we have drawn the interaction curve for Pure, uh, pure uh, section shear wall also for shear wall pure section. So this is the interaction interaction curve for shear wall for shear wall pure section. Okay, this is the interaction curve for shear wall sections and. This one is the interaction curve for column section. Also, we can draw for other pier sections or other columns as well. The same procedure will be applied. So, thank you so much for your attention. It was the interaction curve uh, drawing or plotting the interaction curve in Excel sheet, and the data have been taken from the types of fears for and you can take for other types of buildings as well. Thank you so much for your attentions.
hope this lecture was very use, useful for you all. Have a good time. Bye.